ultimately that's my responsibility. I'm the manager uh, and I've got to guide this group in the best way possible um, to achieve extraordinary things. Hi Gareth, uh, Mike Keegan from the Daily Mail. Just wanted to get your thoughts on the pitch tonight. It seems to be cutting up really badly. Is that a surprise to come and encounter something like that at a major tournament? And did it impact on the way your team could play tonight? Um, we noticed this pitch did cut up the other day in the, in the game we were watching the other day. I think it was Belgium played here. What I would say is, I've been a defender. When you play on a pitch like that, it puts you on edge because you're not quite sure of your footing. <laughs> hey, find out what glass he's fucking supping out of. Don't put it back behind the fucking bar. What's the fucking good of that all the time? You must get sick of that, mustn't you? You must get fucking sick of that. <laughs> Isn't it quiet? Let's go for a drink somewhere. <laughs> well, they went on stars in your eyes as Glenn Miller walked through the mess and nobody's fucking seen him since. <laughs> Where you from, son? Where you live? And that's fucking living, is it? <laughs> What's your job? What do you do? A painter. What do you paint? Anything. You want to paint some fucking hairs on your head? <laughs> Some rabbits on, they look like fucking hairs from a distance. <laughs> and he come back, he said, the fucking goalkeeper's not signed it. I said, no, but he got his fucking fingers to it. <laughs> I've never heard such fucking nonsense. <laughs>